She's um she was born in March the eleventh, nineteen fifty seven, which makes her a Pisces. And she passed away on September the eighth in Savannah, Georgia. Now she was born in Quincy, Florida. Okay. Now, in case you don't know any information about her, I'm gonna bring you up the scale and reference to this woman's life. Clearly she was a um, transgender woman and She also was a trans. She was a transgender um, performer. Now I'm giving you a little rough draft of reference to her storyline and reference to how her life began. He should be rules the stage at Savannah's Club One. <laughs> The lady is a character in the true story of a murder that took place in this Savannah mansion. Shibley personally lobbied for the role when she met director Clint Eastwood in Hollywood. Well, he's a hunk of man. And he was such a gentleman. He was quiet in a shy sort of way, but yet he was sort of intimidating in a dirty, hairy sort of way. The Lady Chablis once was Benjamin Knox, but by the time he was a teenager, he had chosen a life and career as a female impersonator. My name is legally the Lady Chablis. Oh, foxy lady. <laughs> My act is to my egg crazy. It is not for anybody who's into Disney movies. You like chocolate? You like chocolate with nuts? Yeah. 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 It's me, I'm for real. Yeah. I'm not a fictional character, honey. I am for real. Wig shop, you guys. I'm a female impersonator, and it's not to make fun or to pick and poke at the females. No. It's my salute to women. It's a little flip thing going on. That's nice. They got a big assortment in here. What I'm going to do, like, oh, I do like that one, David. Would you bring that one over? You know, women got the power, baby. My being in touch with my feminine and my masculine side, I know that the feminine side is where the power is. Okay. Now, if you see, she, she was out there. She was been doing her thing as far as the grind and living her life and her truth and pushing down doors for the other girls that's coming behind, behind her. You know, and the thing about it, she died at the age of 59 years old. Now, in case you don't know, here's a few mu movies that she was in. She was inside the movie called Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. And this happened in 1994. Here it is right here. I would suggest that I introduce you around. But if we could just keep that between us. An intimate community. How'd you know my name? Welcome to Savannah. I should believe a pretty name. The lady Shepley. I got it off a wine bottle. A cool white wine for a cool black girl. This place is fantastic. It's like going with the window in Mexico. You're going to have fun tonight. In case you're wondering, this is the perfect time for a kiss. Too intimate. 
You don't give me warnings, I give them to you, remember, because that's what's that mine up. Miller was a very accomplished hustler and very much appreciated by both men and women. We're murder. The trouble is, he hadn't finished making the rounds. And motive. The scene was contrived, execution style, become veiled. Sex is a perfectly natural thing. He had his girlfriends and I had mine. It was just an occasional natural occurrence between consenting adults. that here's a few of her pictures in reference to that movie as well well not the movie but in reference to her life as well check this out Okay, very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman on her grind. And that movie right there inspired a doll. Now, there's two dolls, that's with her. Here's one doll right here. But here is the doll that is from the movie right here, the movie um, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Here's the doll right here, the Lady Chablis doll right here. Okay. Now, in case you don't know this, I'm going to give you an up-to-date scale of reference to her book. She actually wrote a book called Hiding My Candy, and it's on CD and um, DVD, and she did it in 1996. Here's the book right here. Okay. Now, she survived by a sister by the name of Cynthia Pounder which we got this information in reference to her on. The Lady out. Chablis, the transgender performer who became an unlikely celebrity for her role in the 1994 bestseller Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, died Thursday in Savannah. She was 59. According to NBC News, Chablis' sister, Cynthia Ponder, confirmed she died at Candler Hospital. A close friend, Kale Hall, said Chablis died from pneumonia and had been in the hospital for the past month. People Magazine reports the performer was born Benjamin Edward Knox, but legally changed her name to the Lady Chablis. Now, you see, she's passed away. You know, rest in peace, my sister, um, Lady Chablis. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but she actually had her name changed to Brenda Dell Knox. This is her legal name now. And in case you don't know, if you can't kind of like put it together, in case you may say, well, Raven, I've never seen her before, but if you ever watched The House of Elena, Yes, you have. Here she is right here in the episode of The Housewives of Atlanta. Here it is. Okay. Rest in peace, my sister. And like I said before, she started down in Quincy, Florida, and she moved to Savannah, Florida. Um, excuse me, Savannah, G Savannah, Georgia. And she was working at the club called Club One. And she was, um, a wreck. she was, that was her spot and stuff. You know, and 59 years old, and she passed away at the hospital, you know, ammonia. You know, rest in peace, my sister. And I just wanted to celebrate her life as far as this video and stuff, because a lot of times 
we lose a lot of our sisters and stuff and a lot of times there are not much you know information out there reference to their life or their storyline so I wanted to put this out here to be a positive experience as far as the girls like us you know we are here on our grind and let you see how much she's achieved in her time so if you feel like you can't get anywhere in life you feel like doors will never open for you here's the woman that was 59 years old and she showed you that it is it's possible. Now remember she was born in 1957 which makes it much more harder for her to be out there her grind. And as you know she knocked down doors and stuff and you see back in 1959 she was doing it. Here it is, nine, excuse, here he is now 2016 and we feel as though we can't do it and she's showing you yes you can. You know I just want to put this positive information out there in reference to her storyline of her life and even though it's a sad thing but you know, she did leave a very, very powerful mark on the world as far as her life. You know, rest in peace, Lady Chablis. Um, you will truly be missed and stuff as far as, you know, in the world. An uh, inspiration who's in a trend shredder as far as an icon. You know, these are the women who paved the way for a lot of girls that's out here in the struggle. And she let you know that she did it, and she was to this day now, as of this, as of September the um, eighth, she was doing it, you know. And rest in peace, my sister. And you know, anyway, the man said, I just want to shut up with you, and I want to tell you that I love you, and I want to thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. I want to thank you for subscribing. Okay. So until we meet again.